Hi again, people. So I am back with a new speed drawing, and this time it is realism. Yay! Hey, okay, I'll try not to whine so much about not drawing manga this time. Uh, <laughs> and I guess I should apologize. You don't get to see me doing the whole sketch because, well, I, you know, I wasn't actually going to record this, but then I thought about it and. The person this is for doesn't know that I have a YouTube channel, so I thought, what's the harm? And besides, I wouldn't have time to, I wouldn't have the time to make another drawing for this week. Um, I've been very, very busy, so um, this is all I have, quite literally all I've got. Um, anyway, so this time I am drawing a Bernie's Mountain Dog. I have no idea if I'm pronouncing it correctly. If I'm not, then I, I apologize for that. Uh, <laughs> But English is still a second language to me, so, yeah, <coughs> that's going to be my excuse. Anyway, so, um, I am using, uh, I I'm drawing this on regular old printer paper, because that is literally just about the only paper I have. So, um, and I, you'll probably notice that the color I'm drawing with is very dark. It's because I'm using my charcoal pencils for this drawing. Um, yeah. Mostly because the Bernese Mountain Dog is very, very dark. Uh, the majority of its body is black. And, um, you know, <laughs> if I had to do that in graphite pencil, the whole drawing would be extremely shiny. And um, it just, it wouldn't look very pleasing. It would look horrible, honestly. So um, I decided to use my charcoal pencils. And this is only the third time I'm doing this. Uh, with I'm, I'm making a drawing with these pencils. So... It's still fairly new to me, and it made it a bit more interesting for me to draw realism. Um, generally, I don't really enjoy drawing realism too much, because I think it's kind of boring. Um, yeah, but that's just me. That's just because realism comes kind of easy to me, and you know, manga does not. <laughs> it's something I'm struggling with, so it's a lot more fun. But anyway, I think I made it through this drawing fairly easy. Um, well... Uh, I did have quite a challenge with the drawing, though, because, um, well, the picture to my left is the reference photo I have, and I will put up a bigger photo of it on the screen right about now, um, where you will probably notice the quality of the photo is extremely bad, um, like, really, really, really bad, but, um, it is the only picture the owner had of the dog where he is relaxed and looking somewhat happy because apparently he's scared of cameras. He is quite literally frightened of cameras and like when somebody's trying to take a photo of him, he he just he will shy away from the camera and you know just generally look really really scared. I did get another photo of him uh, where I where I saw exactly what she explained that he's he's really he's trying to hide. He's really scared of that camera. And, um, it wasn't, once again, it was really bad quality, so it didn't help me much, uh, with the details of him. And, apparently, he's, he's an older dog now. I think she said he's about ten years old now. Um, so she really wanted a good picture of him, um, a good drawing of him, so she could, you know, she, so she could have a nice picture of her dog. And I understand that I love my own dogs very much. And if I didn't have a single good picture of them, I would definitely need to draw them too. Because, you know, we are sentimental that way. Uh, anyway, so, um, so yeah, how could I possibly say no to this? And it's because her birthday is coming up. So, and, uh, I am very, very poor. <laughs> I really don't have uh, anything when it comes to money, like, really, really, if I can, you know, get them to eat every day, then that's a miracle, um, not because I'm bad at taking, you know, good care of my finances and my money, it's because of health issues, unfortunately, and, uh, yeah, it's gonna stick with me for the rest of my life, that kind of sucks, but anyway, um, so yeah, so I couldn't afford to buy her anything else, so I'm really happy she asked for a drawing, <laughs> um, uh, well, <coughs> and, um, I should probably tell you guys, I have actually been looking into, um, I, I really want to find some music that I can put over some of these videos, so I won't have to ramble on for, like, ten minutes, um, I was considering dividing this video into, uh, two different videos, but, you know, that, yeah, I just thought that was silly, since I had it all recorded, I might as well shove it all into one video, and just, you know, get it out there, 
um, for you guys to see and uh, so I did but I am uh, I'm going to research on Google and try and find some royalty free music uh, you know just to like so I can introduce the picture and then just let the music uh, take the rest so you don't have to listen to me I also think it would be really awkward if like it was just silent you know just quiet um, maybe that's just me what do I know um, so yeah <laughs> so I'm gonna have to find something to ramble on about for five more minutes um, not really that hard when I think about it I can ramble on forever if I have to and um, I guess I should tell you guys that um, I do record um, most of the drawing uh, on camera and now my camera is sliding the thing I have to tape up my camera and sometimes the ta sometimes the tape kind of starts to slip and that's what's happening right now um, but I still use the video because I thought you can still see me work and you know what the heck and you can see my feet a little bit <laughs> Um, I thought that that's not a big deal, and you can always just skip over this part, um, unless you'd like to keep watching me work on this stuff, um, yeah, feel free to do that, but, um, but yeah, um, what I'm about to say was, uh, that after I'm done recording, um, after I'm done with the general drawing, I stop recording, but, and then I looked at the drawing for like half an hour and then I decided, no, actually there are some more things I need to fix. And I didn't record that. And for that, I apologize, but I've worked on it for like 12 minutes that you don't get to see. Well, you do get to see it because I do put in a finished photo of the finished drawing, you know, at the very end of this video. So you will get to see the changes that I've made. I don't know how um, apparent they're going to be. They're small changes. Um, but I do end up making um, the white on his uh, chest and chin, uh, well, chest and chin and around his snout a little bit darker. Um, and also, I uh, I decide to, to, you know, this is a black and white drawing, so your eye is going to be drawn to the white parts of the drawing. So I decided to uh, to give him kind of a background color or darken the background so it's not white. Um, she didn't want a background for him, and I think that's fine, but I did end up pi picking out one of my uh, gray pastels, and this is the first time I've tried working my pastels in over a, a drawing, uh, you know, a pencil, well, a charcoal drawing in this case, but, um, <laughs> so I was really happy it worked, I wouldn't have had time to make a new drawing for her, <laughs> uh, but, uh, so I take one of my pastels, a gray, uh, and I smush it onto a piece of paper, and then I take, like, a paper towel, and I smoosh the paper towel onto the pastel, uh, you know, dust, and then onto my drawing and put it on there in like a circular motion to try and not get any streaks. And um, I think it looks really great. It tones down the white a whole lot, so you notice the dog a lot more. And Keel, would you please be quiet? <laughs> Sorry about that. I've been out all day. Um, helping my grandmother move into a new apartment and my dogs are really happy to see me and I I need to get this recorded now because if I don't do it now I won't get this video up today and I need to so uh yeah so they'll have to wait <laughs> playtime's gonna have to wait guys sorry um but anyway there are very very small changes that I make off camera also, um, for the first time in my life, I have tried working with something called fixative that I'm guessing most of you already know what that is. Um, usually I use like just regular old hairspray to try and hold the charcoal in place, uh, but I have to admit the fixative does one heck of a job at holding the color down onto the paper. I mean, wow. I just, I wanted to test out just how good it was, so I coated my drawing, and like the really black area of the dock, I tried to take my finger and like smush over it, and nothing came off, so I tried with my whole hand and just rub it onto the paper, and nothing, so that was really, really awesome to try and work with, uh, unfortunately it's also very expensive, um, yeah, I probably won't be able to afford that, <coughs> Uh, in the future either, so it's got this one can is gonna have to last for a long time, hopefully. Um, anyway, um, oh, I'm just about done. Wow, <laughs> I didn't notice. Oh, sorry. Uh, anyway, so uh, now I've rambled on for too long, and 
Well, I hope you guys don't mind, and I hope you've enjoyed this video. Hope you like this drawing and like this video, and I'll be seeing you next time. Bye.